A lot of things changed after the pandemic and the lockdown, isn't it? And besides having this feeling of frustration, people also felt helpless because some of them lost their jobs, some of them could not apply for new jobs, and some of them wanted to switch to new companies but they could not. This is part one of the interview series where I will be talking about these five key elements that you should have in your CV after the pandemic. There's also a giveaway, so do watch the video till the end. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe to it and hit that bell icon because this channel is all about enhancing your style, behavior and confidence. We all know after the pandemic, companies have adapted to remote work style. This makes telecommunication skills indispensable in this era. So rather than writing, I'm tech savvy or I'm good at time management, you can be specific by writing the platform you are expert at. And what if I'm not an expert? What should I do? If you're not an expert, then become one because it's important for you to practice being on these online platforms. In a survey of 277 hiring professionals, 43% named Zoom as the most preferred conferencing software. You can add it under the skills section of your resume. Some examples are Zoom, Google Meet, Google Hangouts, Zoho, and Microsoft Teams. Exhibit your ability to adapt to changes. Companies expect to hire those individuals who act like smart business chameleons. Huh? Chameleons? You mean these? Yee! <laughs> Not literally, but yes, I have created this term smart business chameleon for those individuals who can adapt to a sudden change in business environment. Mention it clearly in your resume, how you took up new roles, how you worked with a modified budget, or how you managed your team in a crisis. Here are some examples. Raise sales by 50% between July and September 2020. Another example, led a team that downsized from 25 to 10, growth 10% between July and September 2020. Add it under the experience section of your resume, specifically for those jobs that you have been doing during this pandemic period. Remove the word resume or CV and add a proper title. You must know what job profile you are fit for. So have a title in your CV which holds attention of your prospective employer. Add a header like Certified Image Consultant, Digital Marketing Manager, Senior Sales Officer, etc. Because it's a title, place it under your name and contact details. Include a URL to your complete LinkedIn profile. Whether you've used Canva or Doc file to create your resume, don't forget to add the link to your LinkedIn profile. A recent study shows that having a complete and comprehensive LinkedIn profile increases your chances of getting jobs by 71%. Hmm, but what should I do if I don't have a complete and comprehensive LinkedIn profile? Don't worry, we can help you create an all-star LinkedIn profile and guide you step-by-step -step on how to crack any interview. If you're interested, then you can join our two-day online course on interview strategies. And don't forget to check out the reviews of students who have actually cracked the interview and got their dream jobs. You can simply add the URL or if you have an icon there in your CV, then click on it and then paste the URL inside it and save it. Add the URL at the top beneath your contact information. Add appropriate recommendations. Your prospective employers don't know you. So adding something that makes them believe that people have appreciated your work style and your skills can fetch you real benefit. You can make a difference and stand out from the crowd by adding relevant recommendations from people who are well known in the market or your seniors, your colleagues and even your clients. Great, so I'll ask my boss to write that I am a good worker. 
Well, that won't really help because your recommendation should be specific with regard to your skill and knowledge. He's a good employee isn't as effective as XYZ is an outstanding performer of our team. With his dedication and teamwork, our company rose by 20% in sales. Or XYZ is an excellent accounting professional. Her detailed oriented approach has saved us from a major loss during the crisis. Three to four recommendations are good enough and you should add these below the skills section of your resume. So these were the five key elements that you should be having in your resume or CV. And because I've been using the word CV and resume interchangeably, let me throw some light on that as well. A resume is a short straight to the point document that gives a snapshot of your education, skills and experiences. In 99% of the cases, you would want to keep your CV as a one pager thing. On the other hand, CV or curriculum vitae, which in Latin means one's course of life, does not only include education, skills and experience, but also includes your achievements. That's the reason why CV can go beyond one page. I hope by now you have identified which elements were missing in your CV. So do let me know in the comments below. And it's time for the giveaway now. I'm providing you with a new norm sample CV for free. So if you wish to download it, all you have to do is click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, do give a thumbs up and I shall see you next week with another video. Till then you take care. Bye bye.